in this video we are going to discuss some of the important questions of grade 11 chapter trigonometry and we are discussing around 21 questions from the in the first module and another module with another 20 25 questions and before we go to the discussion i just want to make it very clear this will be useful for only those students who studied the trigonometric results of the textbook and some additional results thoroughly. If you have not studied the results of trigonometry, please revise it, by heart it, then watch the video, then only it will be useful for you. Otherwise, it will be a waste of time for you. Let us go to the first question. The minute hand of a watch is 1.5 centimeter long. How far does it tip moves in 40 minutes? Let us see. You know, this is the minute hand in 40 minutes. This is the angle formed theta and this is the length of the distance covered by the minute hand in 40 minutes and r equal to 1.5 centimeter. 1.5 centimeter. Now, we have studied an important results in the first session of trigonometry. Arc length L is equal to what? L equal to R theta. The important thing here, theta is measured in radian. Theta is measured in radian. So, we have everything here, r is there, what is r? 1.5 centimeter. Now, theta, this is how much there is the only thing you need to calculate here, then multiply 1.5 into the angle. You know, the full circle is how many radian? The full circle is how many radian? One full rotation of a circle is 2 pi radian. So, in 60 minutes, angle formed in 60 minute is equal to 2 pi radian. So, what is the angle formed in 1 minute? So, angle formed in 1 minute. In 1 minute is equal to 2 pi by 60 equal to pi by 30 radian. So, what is the angle formed in 40 minutes? 40 into pi by 30 the four angle formed in uh, 40 minutes equal to 40 into pi by 30 that is equal to 4 pi by 3 radian. The four our formula is L is equal to R theta the four L equal to R theta that is 1.5 into 4 pi by 3 you know 3 and 1.5 we can divide that is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 4 into 3.14 what is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 4 2 that is equal to 2 into 3.14 that is equal to 6.28 centimeter. Good. So, what is the angle described the minute hand in 40 minutes? 6.28 centimeter. So, the only thing what children need to understand is theta should be, if you take it in a degree, you know, angle formed in one full rotation is 360 degree. That means in 60 minute, 360 degree. So, in one minute, 360 by 60. But, you know, the angle should be converted into radian. So, better you take in the radian itself in the beginning so that no need of converting. Let us move to the next question. If in two circles, arc of same length subtends angle 60 degree and 75 degree at the center, find the ratio of their radii. The same question based on this lesson. This is R1. R1, L1, theta 1 equal to 60 degree. Now, another circle, different radius, R2, R2, 
theta 2 equal to 75 degree and this is L2. You know L1 is equal to R1 theta 1 and L2 is equal to R2 theta 2. Given what is given to you L1 is equal to L2. L1 equal to L2 implies R1 theta 1 equal to R2 theta 2. We need to find R1 by R2 equal to theta 2 by theta 1. That is equal to, you know, what is theta 2? 75. So, I told you just in the previous question, theta should be in radian. Since this is the ratio, if you convert 75 into radian, you have to multiply by what? How to convert radian into degree into radian? Multiply by, multiply by pi by 180 because 180 degree equal to pi radian. So, 1 degree is equal to what? Pi by 180 radian. So, 60 degree is equal to what? 60 into pi by 180, 75 degree is equal to what? Radian. So, 75 degree is equal to what? 75 into pi by 180 radian. So, even if you convert this into degree, into radian, you will be getting 75 into pi by 180 by 60 into pi by 180, 60 into pi by 180. So, the radian ratio will get, uh, the units will get cancelled. So, this is equal to 75 by 60, that is equal to, you can divide by 5, 15 by 12, that is equal to 5, uh, 3 are 15, 5 by 4, therefore, R1 is to R2 equal to 5 is to 4, clear? So, when it, since it is ratio, the converting of radian degree into radian is not important because the units will get cancelled in case. If those who have doubt in the concept, there will be a conceptual uh, clarity is required because why I told in the previous question, theta should be in radian. So, when you whenever you use this formula, L1 is equal to R1 theta 1 and L2 equal to R2 theta 2, theta should be in radian. But here it is not going to matter because theta 2 by theta 1. So, the ratio of the units will be cancelled. Hope it is clear. So, what is R1 is to R2? 5 is to 4. Now, there will be a lot of questions like this in the reader or the reference book and go through that one. The next question, find the value of sin 31 pi by 3. It is a very important conceptual question. Nothing to do, but it is a conceptual question. And for this, you must know this few important things. I will brush up that one first. We have studied one of the important result in trigonometry. Everyone knows this one, ASTC. A mean in the first quadrant, this is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. If theta is an angle in the first quadrant, all the six trigonometric ratios will be positive. If theta is in the second quadrant, only sin theta and cosec theta will be positive. If theta is in the third quadrant, tan theta and cot theta will be positive. And theta is in the fourth quadrant, cos theta and sec theta will be positive. Now, and one more important thing, if you know what is sin pi by 3, everyone knows it, sin pi by 3 equal to root 3 by 2. Because pi by 3 means, what is the angle? 60. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2 in 10 standard you studied. Now, we need to find what is sin 31 pi by 3. So, one trick I will give you, one important tip. If it is sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2 and any multiple of pi by 3, there is no common factor between numerator and denominator. 31 and 3 you cannot divide. If you cannot divide, that means there is no common factor. Sin of any pi by 3 will be what? Plus root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. You tell me sin 31 pi by 3, it will be either plus root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. Sin 7 pi by 3, it will be plus root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. Sin 5 pi by 3, sin 2 pi by 3. Any pi by 3, if you take, it will be either root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. We have discussed in the regular uh, physical class, I have explained all these things. 
Now, this is a problem solving session to help you to get a revision of your classes. So, let us see sin 31 pi by 3 is plus root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. Let us see. So, for that one, I need to decide 31 pi by 3 is in which quadrant. Let us see that one. See, sin 31 pi by 3 equal to sin. The nearest multiple of 3 is 30. 30 pi plus pi by 3. What is 30 pi by 3? Sin 10 pi plus pi by 3. This is an angle in which quadrant? 10 pi plus pi by 3 is an angle in which quadrant? It will be in the first quadrant. Why it is first quadrant? Because when you do, this will be 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi will be here, 6 pi will be here, 7 pi will be here, 8 pi will be here, 9 pi will be here, 10 pi will be here. So, 10 pi plus theta is an angle in the first quadrant. Even pi will be here, odd pi will be here. So, this is sin pi by 3. Sin pi plus theta is sin 2 pi plus theta or 10 pi plus theta will be sin pi by 3 that is equal to what? Plus root 3 by 2. Clear? So, sin Similarly, if you want, you can find sin 7 pi by 3, 5 pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, uh, 11 pi by 3, 13 pi by 3, uh, 16 pi by 3, but not 15 pi by 3. It will be reduced further. Everything will be either root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 is interesting. So, any multiple of pi by 3, if you take sin, it will be either plus root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. You can reduce this reduction we have done in the class a lot of time. Okay, go for the next question. Minus 11 pi by 3, of course, it will be either root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. Let us see what is it. Now, sin minus 11 pi by 3. The first result I need is, what is sin minus theta? What is sin minus theta? Minus sin theta. Sin minus theta is minus sin theta. So, first minus sin 11 pi by 3. Now, I of course, this minus is there and this will be either root 3 by 2 or minus root 3. Let us see. 11 pi by 3, you can the nearest multiple of 3 is 12. That is minus sin 12 pi minus pi by 3. That is minus sin 12 pi by 3 is 12 by 3 is 4 pi. 4 pi minus pi by 3. Check this is in which quadrant. Look here. This will be 2 pi. 4 pi will be here. This is 4 pi. 4 pi minus theta is in the fourth quadrant. You know fourth quadrant who is positive? Cos is positive. So, sin is negative. So, there is already one minus here. Minus into minus sin pi by 3 that is equal to sin minus into minus becomes sin pi by 3, that is equal to root 3 by 2. Good. So, I took two question of sin. Similarly, you can go ahead with the cos, tan, sec, cosec, etc. One sign and any angle, it can be pi by 3, pi by 4, pi by 6, anything. Reduce it, check the quadrant and decide whether it is plus or minus.